Hello students, today we're in chapter 3, lesson 7. How do we divide decimals? Today we're going to talk about decimals with a whole number. So how do we divide decimals with a whole number? And this is going to follow the workbook. Workbook, pages 231 to 238. All right, so let's remember our steps when we do long division. Um, however you remember it, divide, right? Dad, mom, sister, brother. So, or does McDonald's sell burgers? Dirty monkey smell bad, however you remember it. Divide, then multiply, subtract, then bring down. And then you repeat if you have a remainder. Well, today what's going to happen when we do long division, we're going to have a de we're going to have a decimal. So let's talk about dividing decimals. And we're going to write the steps here. Dividing decimals. All right. So what's important? Let's put a big star here because this is important. Big star. Make sure the divisor, meaning that side number, is a whole number. Make sure the divisor, meaning the outside number, is a whole number. Today they are going to be. Tomorrow they will not be. Once you make sure that's a whole number, what you do is you bring down the decimal point or bring up the decimal point. And then divide as normal. Now there are going to be cases that when you're dividing, you still have a remainder. If you do have a remainder, if you still have a remainder, no more little R's, guys. <laughs> I don't want to see any R's. If you still have a remainder, you're going to add zeros. Add zeros and then bring down zeros. and divide until no remainder. Now keep in mind that when you are dividing, um, sometimes they'll say round to the nearest thousandth, round to the nearest tenth. If they say round to the nearest tenth, you have to go to the hundredths place. You have to go one extra place um, that they told you to round to because then you can follow your rounding rules. So let's just do some examples. I think the best way to do this is just to do some examples. So example one. So example one, I want to do six and eight tenths divided by two. We're going to start off easy, okay? So when we divide, the first number goes under the house. This is called the dividend, not the bigger number. The second number is the divisor that goes on the outside. So what you do is that when you're dividing and you see a decimal, make sure that this must be a whole number. Tomorrow you'll see what we do. This must be a whole number. It is, so we're good to go. So all you do is bring up the decimal point and then divide as normal. So two, how many twos go into six? Three, three times two is six. You subtract zero, bring down the eight. Two goes into eight exactly four times. You get a zero remainder. So our answer is three and four tenths. Easy enough. All right, let's try another one. Example two. Example two is 75 hundredths divided by three. All right, so again, the same process, right? The divide, dividend goes under the house. The three outside, right? This is a whole number, so we're good to, to go. You bring up the decimal point. 
Now try, if you have to, like I said, if you have to um, do it this way, when you're dividing so that it li if you have your columns to line up the numbers, you do that. I have no problem doing that. Two times three is six, subtract one, bring down the five. Three goes into 15, exactly um, five times, sorry. Five times, five times three is 15, zero remainder, so our answer is 25 hundredths. Getting the hang of it? All right, let's try another one. This time I'm gonna get a little harder. All right, so example three. All right, so for example three, I wanna do seven and seven tenths divided by 14. And I want you to see what happens. All right, so seven and seven tenths, 14. All right, 14 cannot, all right, so you bring up the decimal. 14 cannot go into seven, but we gotta figure out how many 14s go into 77. So I just have to do some math on the side. I don't know, let's try, uh, let's try five right now. So two, that'd be 70, that's pretty close. So five, five times 14, never erase your math. Always keep it to the side, you get seven. Now I want you to notice you have a remainder. So because you have a remainder, you're gonna add zeros and then bring down the zero. So let's write that, bring down, add zeros and then bring down zeros when you have a remainder. So I'm gonna add zeros. You can add as many as you want. You're gonna stop once you have no remainder. But look, how many 14s go into 70? Well, we just did that. It was five. Five times 14 is 70, and now I have a zero remainder. So by adding this extra zero, it allowed us to continue on with our division, and we had no remainder. So our answer is 55 hundredths. All right, I'm gonna circle this. That's the key thing here is add zeros and bring down the zero when you have a remainder. All right, let's talk about some special cases. All right, some special cases. And the special case that I want to talk about, we've already talked about what happens when we multiply by a power of 10. I want to talk about what happens when we're dividing by powers of 10. So dividing decimals by a power of 10. Meaning 10, 100, 1,000, any because you can write these as a power of 10. All right, so big star. When dividing by a power of 10, meaning 10, 100, 1,000. All you're gonna do is you're gonna move the decimal point. Remember, pause the video if I go too fast. You're gonna move the decimal point left based upon the number of zeros in your base 10. Based upon the number of zeros Or it could be your power, if it is a power. It could also be a power. If I wrote um, an exponent, we might as well write that in there. Like if I had 10 to the second power, I would move it two spaces. If I had 10 to the third power, I'd move it three spaces. 10 is just 10 to the first power. We don't ever really write it that way, but that's how you would see it. So that's what I mean by a power or a power. So you base it upon the number of zeros in your base 10 number or the power or exponent. They also call that the exponent. All right, so let's look at some examples. So 1.24 divided by 1, 1.24 divided by 10, 1.24 divided by 100, 1.24 divided by 1,000, and we're gonna see what the pattern is. Okay, and then we'll do another example down here. All right, so when I do this, when I divide this by one, I'm just gonna get one and 24 hundredths. But watch what happens when I divide by 10, 
I'm going to move the decimal point one space left. So watch, I'm going to start here, 1 and 24 hundredths. I'm going to move it left one decimal place. So my answer is decimal point 124, 124 thousandths. All right, now let's look at this one. This one has two zeros. So I'm this time with this number, I'm going to move it two spaces left because I have two zeros, one, two. So I'm going to start where it is currently, one and 24 hundredths. Move it once, move it twice, fill in with the zero. So my answer is 0 0.0124, 124 ten thousandths. And then looking at this one, one, two, three, I have three zeros, so I'm going to move the decimal point three spaces left. So I'm going to start with the number again, one, two, three, I have to fill in with two zeros this time. So 124 hundred thousandths. <laughs> Crazy, right? All right, let's try another example and let's see if you, if you have it. So an example that I would like for us to do is let's take 75 and divide it by a thousand. Instead of dividing it out, can we just move the decimal point? Well, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna move the decimal point one, two, three, three spaces left. So start with 75. Now there is no decimal point, right, right now? So it's assumed it's at the end of the number because it's a whole number. So move it once, twice, three spaces. Oh, sorry, start, yeah. Once, twice, three spaces. So we get 0, 7, 5, 75 thousandths. Start at the end of the number. If there was a decimal point here, then I would start here and then move it. Get the hang of things. That's how we divide decimals with a whole number.